soil fertility remains one of the most critical factors in food production in the Gambia. Over the years, traditional practices such as shifting cultivation and natural following have been used to maintain and enhance soil quality. Now, women farmers from 18 wards across the West Coast region are being introduced to new and practical knowledge on rapid compost making. A training facilitated by the National Farmers Platform, the Gambia, and the Brekame Area Council. The process offers a cost effective and sustainable alternative to chemical fertilizers using readily available resources. We have been having a lot of uh, challenges, complaints from women when you come to uh, farm inputs, particularly fertilizers. So fertilizer has become a very big problem for farmers, particularly women farmers. One is access to it is sometimes very difficult. Two is the cost is not very much effective for them to purchase. Coupled with the effect of climate change, experts have told us that uh, the chemical fertilizers have some effect on our agricultural land and is also a contributing factor to some of the climate change effects. So in order to cope with the climate change uh, uh, effect and the pressure on climate that climate change did on farming, we decided to come with an alternative. And this alternative is to make so that we introduce the organic fertilizer that would be environmental friendly, cost effective, particularly to the women, so that they can uh, actually achieve what they want from their uh, vegetable production. Rapid compost is an organic fertilizer made from a mixture of sawdust, animal manure, topsoil, urea, sugar, vinegar and water. According to Aja Bakotum Butch, the process takes about three weeks to complete and offers an affordable, environmentally friendly solution for replenishing soil nutrients. During the training, Women arrange the ingredients in layers, mixing them with spades and by hand. The compost mixture is then placed in a wide shallow pit, raked evenly and covered with plastic sheeting. After three weeks, the compost is ready and stored in containers for use. Experts say this method not only enhances soil fertility, but also reduces the impact of land degradation and crop production. And this compost making uh, is very, very important. It's, it's organic. Everything is not chemicalized. Uh, it's how to be a, a natural thing. That's what we are trying to introduce because uh, artificial fertilizer is very, very uh, expensive for women. And even to have access to it is going to be it's very, very difficult. And it's having a lot of uh, um, uh, implication as agriculture is in concern uh, nowadays. From every corner of Combos is to make sure that we train them to acquire the skills. Because hereafter, when women complain to us that they need to acquire the skills, we will use them as trainers to train them. So we are expecting to have trainers who will be trained here today to train other farmers. One of the key barriers preventing many Gambian farmers from using chemical fertilizers is the high cost. In response, Bakari Gassama, the Regional Agricultural Director for the West Coast Region, emphasized the need to shift toward integrated agricultural practices, including the adoption of compost manure. This is what we are yearning for. From 1968, the Department of Agriculture, we are embarking on integrated agriculture approach by training farmers so that to involve animal traction. And the way it goes, up to this end now the issue of climate change has come. So we want to try and improve the eco ecology, agroecological, you know, conservation, environmental friendly. So we are trying to sensitize the community that let us shy away from the chemical fertilizers and all illicit you know, chemicals that are into farming. It is not good. One, our economic health and also the sustainability is difficult because they are not produced in this country, they are beyond our borders. And most of average farmers are not elites. They can read very well and to understand the stuffs. So it makes it very important to come up with an idea whereby we'll introduce organic farming or natural farming or sustainable agriculture. Mbanyi Masila, one of the trainees, shared how the farmers platform has equipped them with essential skills in compost production and sustainable farming techniques. 
despite ongoing challenges such as irrigation and pest control. She remains committed to improving food security and earning an income to support her family. Officials from both NFPG and Prekame Area Council assure that the initiative will be extended to benefit more women gardeners across the region. Now empowered with the knowledge of compost making, these women gardeners are ready to put their training into action, improving soil quality, increasing yields, and contributing to climate smart farming in the Gambia. Chanketure, GRTS.